Well, good evening everybody. This is Kurt from Broken Finger Gaming. Today I've got a little tutorial here on how I did a natural rock formation um, trench. So if I kind of scroll into here and you can see I've got some covering uh, for any kind of enemy uh, firing that's coming on. Um, this didn't take me very long to do. Um, I kind of like the natural look, uh, especially when you're using the, the uh, terrain that is around you. So I basically created this within, oh gosh, 10 minutes, if that. All right, so what uh, we're gonna do here right now is actually we're gonna take a little walk in here and show you what it actually looks like. Boom, all right, get in there as a player. And you can see, yeah, I've got a tree there. I do have to dock down just to get underneath of it, okay. But you can see, I've got some firing power. Throw a grenade. Hopefully BFG doesn't die. <laughs> but you guys get the point here, okay? So you got some coverage. I got a few of these. Uh, could be making more, so actually that's why I'm here today. Um, I just uh, edited the uh, lighting in here. I just I absolutely love it. It looks absolutely amazing. All right, so you have a rough idea what it looks like. Uh, that uh, I gotta fix that. I don't really like the tree kind of digging into the rock. But that does not look natural. Um, I'm all about the uh, natural lines, especially when it comes to um, getting into formation of the terrain. Um, I like things to look aesthetically pleasing as well as uh, tactical as well. Okay, so let's get out of here. All right, so I am going to find a spot for us here. Let's actually go over here. Ah, perfect. Okay, so this actually worked out nice. So these trees here, I'm just going to move them out of the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have to pardon me, folks. I've actually had a cold for the past uh, three weeks here, and uh, it's been brutal on my lungs. I've had bronchitis and, and uh, pneumonia seven times in my life. And every time I get sick, it affects me for weeks on end. So I do apologize for the... <clears throat> Anyways, I digress. Okay, so I'm going to go up to the mountain here. And to the area where we're going to go into the sculpting. So if you look here, we have sculpt, flatten, smooth, and noise. I stay away from noise as much as I can because it's, it's too intrusive. So I go to sculpt and I'm going to get my little circle here and let's see the best angle here for the, uh, uh, let's do this right here. All right. So once again, if you hit the alt key, you see how it kind of goes red. Okay. So as I have the radius here as one fall off is 18. Yeah, that's 18. I have to get closer to take a look. And the strength is around three because you want to basically take small chunks out of this. Okay. So here we go start chunking in here let's do something a little bit more um, natural maybe a, a like a Z line or something like that right okay kind of give it a little bit of weirdness to it okay I think that should just about do it remember to hit control save okay now I'm gonna go into my rocks I got a lot of rocks going on there. It's trees too. If you double click on this, it'll automatically set itself as active. Just so you guys know, if you set on the level or the layer, sorry, it will basically set itself as as, uh, as the active layer that you're working with. Okay. Hit W. <coughs> sorry. Um, let's go down to items here in the uh, for, uh, for, uh, armor reforger prefabs. Let's go to find rocks. I stick with the vanilla rocks just because. Uh, it's, it's a lot easier for everybody to uh, figure this out. Uh, if I was to actually down that side. You could actually uh, do a little tip for you guys too. You could actually make the folders bigger or smaller. All right. If I'm working with, uh, you know, bigger files and stuff, I kind of like to have the, the formation so I can actually see what's going on here. So I picked the very last one, which I like this rock actually. It's kind of got a unique uh, 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 design to it. It's kind of like a, a moon shape, right? So from here, I flip it upside down, and I want to move this bad boy. Oh, come on, work with me. I want to move it over. There we go. 
and of course I'm gonna level this up a little bit <coughs> sorry <coughs> and to clear my throat guys I cleared my throat before I even started this video <laughs> it's crazy how many times especially when I talk and I do do a lot of talking throughout the day um, yes I'm a chatty caddy so just put the rock up a little bit more and let's just move this bad boy out of the way now remember if you guys move something you might want to shift it to ring uh, back to where basically the height is so control and arrow down on your keyboard will actually bring it back down again okay so you can see what I've done here I've done that so if I like the way that looks I highlight this click on it and just start the circle here if I hit the left alt key and press my left mouse button guess what oh boy I can actually turn that up I take another copy of that okay so I want to actually rotate that because I want to push it onto the other side and I want to push it down just a bit more and over and then bring it up so it's kind of underneath all right and let's give that a little bit of a turn I could actually alt the size too if I want by hitting the R key which will give it uh, and W basically gives your uh, dimension or your uh, your key to go up or down okay but you see how it kind of creates its own little path in here all right um let's do one more yeah, just because i like this one so much i'm actually gonna make this one smaller and i'm gonna turn that bad boy around and let's give it a little bit of a downward spiral to it there we go so when you're looking around you come around this way it kind of looks like a natural when you're not actually walking you can actually see you've got a little bit of a an area that you can work with right so in order to get the ground that you're walking on you can either use this uh, this one here which is actually pretty good too it's got a flatter surface on it and it's quite large but you might need to shake this down just a little bit more so once again let's bring it down let's see what we're working with and bring it back up again because you want to basically uh, bring it up and we're going to smooth off a lot of the terrain uh, with the um, the sculpting tool okay we're gonna actually make it kind of form into the rock itself all right so this is kind of how I do it there we go once again we'll hit the circle alt and it'll drag and you get yourself another copy of the same one so we don't have to dig around for it kind of get the drift here guys okay so <clears throat> sorry let's try this again move this over a bit more and let's bring it down sorry shaky hand here <laughs> it's like the shaky leg song okay so there you have it um, now here we go into another area which is going to be on the left side if i double click erode we all know what erodes are right i'm pretty sure we do if we go to the shortcut key just type in erode you're off speaking german here okay there we go so here's another little trick too that i use as well just to give it a little bit more um ah, kind of aesthetically pleasing to the eye all right so you got a little bit of a drop off here let's uh make this a little bit more push this in out now you have to look around to see where you're at you can see the white lines and the outline okay so we're actually not looking too too bad okay so if I really want to add something here let's add another one let's put it up top here spin that bad boy around and let's ah, actually better make sure that's a little bit more terrain friendly okay and up and then we can actually go through all right so just make sure it's not poking through the rock there because it's gonna look kind of stupid if you do that right okay all right so here we have a nice little little uh, kind of a trenchy kind of area that we can actually work with okay so that being said control s let's see what we got we're going to take a little dive into this area here okay you can see you got some edginess here not a problem going on here not a problem but you can see 
actually have to walk through. Actually, make this look kind of like all natural. Okay. I might put another rock up here. Do a little check. Okay. Make a grenade. Stay away from the grenade. Okay. So here we have. Great. Okay. So this actually looks pretty good so far. All right. So now we're just going to go back in there and we're going to clean this mess up. Let's escape. And let's go into Control T, brings us back to our area that we'd like to work with. And let's go to Smooth. Remember guys, if you hit the left Control key and move your mouse up and down, you can actually make it bigger or smaller, okay? Now the key to this is to have a very low setting, number eight or six, whatever works well. So you're not jump, jumping in there and then smoothing everything off. So it's gonna look like, like crap after. But you can see when you smooth it, see it kind of blends in with the uh, the terrain now. This looks a lot better. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, <clears throat> I don't too much on there, so let's go Control Z. There we go. That looks good. Okay, let's actually hit Sculpt and let's just sculpt that out a little bit more up there. So we can actually sculpt some of the rock away so you can see what's going on. And that way, and then hit smooth again. It'll it'll bring it all back up to normal. There we go. That looks a little bit better now, right? Okay, now we can actually go to paint. Let's add some mountain grass in there. Okay. Remember guys, mountain grass actually grows in the sun. So here's a little trick for you. When you guys are painting your area, you see the shades, okay? Stay away from the shades, right? Just put the grass into the sun. That way you get a more natural look. Okay, folks? All right, so Control S. I always try to hit Control S as much as I can. And of course, we're gonna put a little bit more over here. Give it that little, you know, kind of earthy look. Area hasn't been used in or walked on for a long time. But now we're gonna add some dirt. So dirt number one, just to give it a little bit of you know, and I'm just clicking on the mouse button. You probably hear it in the background. I'm just tapping. Okay, let's give it a little trail here. Now, if you go, I'm sure if you have it, you could actually make a little trail if you want. So it's kind of um, sporadic. Okay, then go back to um, where were we here? Mountain grass. Okay, there we go. And yeah, let's give this a little bit of mountain grass in here. And we'll do a little bit right here too. Kind of hide that up a little bit oh yeah that's looking pretty sexy there we go okay there we have it I like that okay now we're looking really good all right so let's go to control save let's take a little look around here if you want to put another log in there go for it uh, you have the options of putting a rock you could actually this is actually a little cheat too if you want to um, make some caves like all natural kind of caves that you kind of dig into the uh, the terrain itself with the sculpting tool then you go in there create your base which is your rock pick a good rock it's going to be have a flat base to it okay oh my gosh look at that we're looking hardy tardy here this is nice i like this sorry guys my english accent is not that good it's mostly german can tell by the name okay so there we have a natural kind of covering uh, rock area for you so the only problem with this is that uh, <laughs> they can ambush you from this end here <laughs> however if you want to do a sneak attack I can smooth this off as you can see it's a little bit of sharpness right here right? and I like, I like firing again okay and then do a grenade. Now that looks absolutely gorgeous. All right, folks, you uh, leave your comments down below if you like this or not. Uh, little tips and tricks for the uh, Reforger uh, Infusion 
uh, tools. And uh, yeah, please subscribe. It actually helps and means a lot. All right. Appreciate it. Have a great day, guys. Cheers.